Hey there, it's James with Mooney Fine Mineral, and we continue our journey through the United States looking at some of the accessible geological wonders that it has to offer with the state of Alabama. From gold collecting to a rare blue variety of quartz, this state has some interesting minerals to offer. Let's dive right on in, but before that, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. It tremendously helps the channel. Also, check out my brand new Discord server. I'm hoping to build a thriving community where you're more likely to actually see my videos and be able to share your finds with other gem and mineral lovers. I also have a Patreon if you want to help support my channel in that way. Relevant links will be in the description. Let's go! As always, be safe, be legal, and be prepared. Know what you are doing. The first video in this playlist has some useful information on that subject, and I will also be posting information at the end of this video concerning Gem and Mineral Clubs in Alabama, along with their contact information. They are very beneficial for helping you to create a safe environment to collect in, if that is your speed. Here we go. So many of you found my channel because of geodes, and you'll be happy to know that in the northern portion of the state near Athens and Huntsville, the geodes have been found in some of the rivers and streams of the surrounding area. Most are just clear or milky quartz, and even some calcite-lined ones, but finding your own geode and cracking it is extremely exciting. At least it is for me. The Alabama Gold Camp in Lineville, Alabama is a structured, pay-to-dig environment where you can pan for gold. You can also find garnets, fossils, and natural citrine on site as well. If you saw my last video on Georgia, you might also notice the line of gold localities leads right to this spot in Alabama. Coincidence? I think not! In many of the creeks and rivers near, to, uh, near and around Tuscaloosa, you can find nicely solidified wood, chalcedony, kyanite, quartz, agates, and more. Some of the old strip mines and mining dumps uh, may also hold some shiny baubles. But as always, be safe, be legal, and be prepared. Get permission before you go into any of these particular industrial spots, and never trespass. Also take appropriate protective equipment as well. It's kind of important. In the old railroad cuts, creeks, and mining prospects of the Aaron, Alabama area, people have found barrels, tourmaline, gold specimens, garnets, uh, those are most abundant at the old Bob Lee mine, and even some copper minerals, including turquoise. Alexander City and the surrounding area has a history of gold mining, but you can also expect to find quartz, unikite, oh, that's one of my favorite minerals, epidote, various feldspars, rubies, sapphires, and more. Rockford, Alabama area has a history of moonstone, quartz, tourmaline, cassiterite, that's a fun one, gold, quartz, garnet, and yes, even more. You'll notice a lot of these are in a big general area in this spot. <laughs> there's there's quite a bit in the, the overall area around Alexander City and Ashland. But this next one is the Ashland, Alabama area. You can find kyanite, apatite, smoky quartz, garnets, tourmalines, chlorite, and chlorite-included quartz. The chlorite inclusions make it a lovely green color. Now here's a really fun one on the other side of the state. Shark Tooth Creek in Aliceville, Alabama is a famous locality for beautiful fossil shark teeth as well as many other fossils. It is, it is a fee-based area. I, last time I looked, it was $25 or so. Uh, but it can be a great experience for people looking to collect in a more controlled environment. And from what I can tell, you can find a ton of shark teeth. And some of you may ask, but before you do, there have not been al uh, megalodon teeth found in Alabama as far as I'm aware. But the other ones look really cool. And finally for today, the area along the Flint River in Madison County, Alabama, that's the Huntsville area again, has been known to produce the coveted Blue Star Quartz. This was adopted in 1990 as Alabama State Gemstone. Specimens are usually not very large, but they can be absolutely stunning. Again, be safe, be legal, and be prepared. If you can find a Gem and Mineral Club in your area or in the area you are visiting, they will be a tremendous resource to you. Be sure to take down some of the contact information for these clubs right meow. Now, I will admit that I was very shocked by the sheer variety of gemstones that Alabama sports. There are some real hidden gems <laughs> in this state, and I have every confidence that the next one on our list, Tennessee, will be much the same. Unfortunately, I did not find a lot of information on unique minerals in the southern portion of Alabama. It appears that there are a lot of quarry-like uh, quarries and quarry-like material, limestone, chert, things like that. However, it stands to reason that there are likely calcites and other carbon minerals associated with these. If I find out any more information, I will post an update. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Check out my new Discord. Um, 
And if you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon as well. Relevant links will be in the description. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Tennessee deuces.